We talked about the idea that we'll have a system head, the head rise required across the pump, to overcome a change in elevation, a change in pressure, plus whatever dissipative friction losses and minor losses we have in the piping system. The system head rise will be delta Z plus delta P over rho G plus head loss due to friction. Well, that's the friction factor times the length divided by diameter times V squared over 2G. And again, from the previous section, the minor losses, that'll depend on the K factors times V squared over 2G. And if we sum over all of the different minor loss coefficients in our system, then we'll have the sum of all the K factors times V squared over 2G. Now remember, Q is equal to VA, so V is equal to Q over A, where A is the cross-sectional area and V is the velocity. So we can get that V is equal to four times Q over pi d squared. So that v squared over 2g will be equal to 16 q squared over pi squared d to the fourth times 1 over 2g, or 8 times q squared over g times pi squared times d to the fourth. So we can take this section up here, and we'll still have f l over d plus sigma k all times v squared over 2g but we found out v squared over 2g down here depends on q squared and we'll wind up with 8 over g times pi squared d to the fourth times q squared now let's think about how we might go about calculating this portion for varying flow rates. Now, friction factor, it's a weak function of the flow rate. It's a function of Reynolds number and relative roughness, but it's almost constant. Likewise, just about all of our K factors that we've used are constants. They don't change uh, with Reynolds number, or if they change with Reynolds number, they don't change very much. So the friction factor is a function of Reynolds number and relative roughness, but it's a very weak function. It doesn't change very much as we change the Reynolds number quite a lot. And likewise, K is a function of Reynolds number, but it's a fairly weak function of Reynolds number. And of course, 8G pi squared and D to the fourth, those are just constants. So we'll see that these losses are depending primarily on the flow rate squared. Now these are, again, constants, at least for a given piping system. So we'll wind up with our system head difference, what we need the pump to deliver in order to supply the, the system, dependent on the change in elevation, how much we're going up the hill, plus the change in pressure, divided by rho g, how much head we need to overcome the pressure difference, plus something that we can treat as just about a constant times q squared. And of course that constant is coming from up there. It's this collection here. So we'll have to do our bookkeeping to figure out these values in order to use this system head relationship. This constant, c, it contains a whole lot of information about system geometry.